Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in today's video, I am talking about my weight loss recap, the March. <sighs> Thank you. The March edition. <laughs> Um, this series is where I showcase my weight loss journey. I show you guys the ups and downs, the ins and outs of what it's really like for me to lose weight on my personal weight loss journey. So yeah, but before we get into it, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up with your favorite girl on the internet, and leave a comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. But yeah, without further ado, let us get into this month's recap. Hey guys, so I weighed myself just now. It's the end of the day on Monday. Currently weigh 207.2, but usually when I weigh myself in the evenings, it means that I am just two to three pounds heavier than what I currently actually am. So I'll weigh myself in the morning to kind of compare, but currently 207.2. Um, I'm trying to think. Today, I we had barbecue at my job, so I had a roll, baked beans, two helpings of baked beans, um, some meat, some barbecue meat, and then I had this kale salad, and because they had a bunch of extras of the kale salad, and I had my containers, my Pyrex um, containers. I got some for the next couple days, so I'm going to eat that throughout the week. And then I'm also going to go to the gym Tuesday through Friday and just hit the gym hard this week. Currently drinking ginger tea. official weight 206 so yeah 206 even is what I currently weigh so gained about 4.6 basically five pounds um, that's the starting point for March so we'll see where I get to at the end of this week and then we'll just go back and do like the weekly weight recaps um but I worked out today as you guys saw I did arms and then I did 30 minutes on the stairs 20 minutes on the bike um then tomorrow will probably be a cardio day with abs a heavy focus on abs and then the next day legs and cardio and then the next day Friday uh heavy focus on abs and cardio so I'm just gonna continue hitting this week um, as strong as I can in the gym and eating as healthy as possible um, with the Friday night cheat meal of Chick-fil-A and go from there. Hey guys, so I just finished a food shop at Trader Joe's and I thought I would walk you through what I got. So I bought this like broccoli and kale slaw um, salad kit so I'm gonna have that it's dairy free which is great so excited for that got some eggs got cereal got this vanilla almond one and the honey o's got more coconut milk with green beans I thought I'd switch it up and do some turkey burgers so just cook that 
on there. So I got two of those and they each come with like four patties in each box. And I also got this quinoa uh, with black beans and roasted corn veggie burger and green juice, olive oil, got my ginger and turmeric shot. And I thought I would try this Honey Mama's cacao bar in the nibs and coffee. I did already tuck into the truffle one and it's so good. It is very rich and it's pretty soft to bite into. So, and it's also paleo. So if you wanna give it a try, give it a try. But I mainly got it cause I was like, it's dairy free and I can have that. Um, and I also got crushed ginger thinking I was getting crushed garlic, but it's ginger. So might make some tea with this. We'll see. But yeah, that is my current food shop for the week. So, so I went to the grocery store again and I stocked up on some stuff. Um, I got some veggie and green salad kit. It is dairy free. So I got two of these to try. I also got this last time as you guys saw and I loved it. So I got it again um, and it's also dairy free. So the broccoli and kale slaw. Um, and then I got more turkey burgers just one more pack and then another veggie burger still haven't tried it but i thought it doesn't hurt to just get more but i did like the turkey burger i saw massey iris the one who i whose program i follow um she posted this on her instagram story it's a turmeric ginger coconut beverage which is basically a golden latte type of thing so got this um stocked up more on green juice and ginger shots along with whoops Oh my gosh. Along with uh, turmeric shots for like gut health and immunity. Got more of these H Honey Mama's um, bars. Had half of this one already. I'm going to have the other half later. And then the, cash, um, the cashier who was helping me out, she was talking about this vegan mac um, and cheese. And I was like, I am lactose intolerant. So I for sure want to try that. But yeah, you get quite a bit. It's pretty... Pretty hefty, but I thought I'd try a little bit um, for lunch today, probably with the salad. So that's my top up for the food shop. Hey guys, so Friday I said that I had Chipotle and that I was gonna have Chick Fil A for dinner, which I did have. This morning on Saturday I had cereal for breakfast and then lunch. I had gone to Trader Joe's to get some more groceries, as you guys saw earlier, and I had the vegan mac and cheese. That was my lunch. I had that entire container, um, which was about like 700 calories, I think is what it was. And then for dinner just now, I had um, half a container of sushi and half a container of gyo gyoza. And then I'm going to have the other half for lunch tomorrow. Um, and then I also had this ice cream that I got at Sprouts as well. It's vegan, made with oat milk. It's the brownie sundae raspberry swirl. So this is at Sprouts. It's actually pretty good. <coughs> I liked it. And then I also got it with some kombucha. This is my favorite kombucha. It's like really affordable 
but it tastes really good. Um, yeah, it's called the Boo Kombucha. And you can get two for four dollars um, at Spreads right now, currently. But yeah, I feel like because of what I ate yesterday and what I ate before uh, today, I weighed myself Friday morning and I forgot to mention it, but I went down to 204. With that being said, because yesterday, all day on Friday, I, I mean like my Chipotle meal was basically a salad. Um, I didn't do like the burrito bowl, I didn't do the burrito, I just did like a salad um, option. And then for Chick-fil-A, I just had, I think like 12 nuggets. Um, I did have a Reese's Pieces, like ha like one Reese's Pieces cup and then a um, Hershey's Almond Chocolate bar, Hershey's Almond bar. And I think that's it. And then for breakfast today was cereal. Lunch was that vegan mac and cheese. And then dinner was the sushi and gyoza with that. I'm thinking that I just like went all the way back up, you know, to being 206. So I'm kind of just like, you know what? I'll restart on Monday. Because tomorrow I'm hanging out with some friends and we're going to go out to eat. And um, I'm going to try to make like the healthiest, you know, food choices that I can. But at the same time, like, I think I'm getting to a point where I have to stop feeling guilty about when I'm not eating healthy. And like, I don't know, going to extremes to get back to where I was by like eating smaller amounts of food and eating really healthy. And it's just like, you know, yes, I do have to eat a cal caloric deficit to lose weight and eating healthy food is good for you. But I also have to disassociate from myself the bad food and understand it's just food <laughs> and not like get upset about it with myself. But I have noticed that I've been eating it out a lot more and I this year and I think that's what's been contributing a lot to me not really losing the weight but gaining it and I just need to limit that in terms of the food that I'm eating out so I am going to try to focus on going forward only having coffee like buying coffee um once a week and then eating out once a week so, <clears throat> I weighed myself this morning, and I went up. <laughs> I think I showed last night that I had, like, ice cream, I had some sushi, and then the day before I had Chick-fil-A and Chipotle, and I had some candy last night, well, um, Friday night. Yeah, 208. Looking
So I'm currently making lunch and I thought I'd tell you guys that I tried a different veggie burger from Trader Joe's and this is not it. I did not like this. The quinoa veggie burgers, um, the other ones that I showed you are way better in my opinion. Hey, beautiful people. So a weight update, I forgot to say this earlier when I was talking about the California veggie burger burgers that I didn't like. I currently weigh 203. Good morning, beautiful people. So, last night, I thought I'd be honest, I had Indian food, which the amount that they give you is enough for a family. And I ate all of it immediately. I mean, even as I was eating it, I was like, I feel pretty full. And then afterwards, I was like, I can't even walk. Oh man, it was so bad. But yeah, guys, this, I'm gonna set this quarantine and not being able to go to the gym. Like, I'm not really that motivated to work out at home because, to be quite honest, it's a lot harder to work out at home for me. I don't go as long, I don't feel that motivated, and yeah. And also, like, eating healthy is a lot harder when you're just working from home all day. I don't know how people do it. I feel like, I mean, yesterday, yes, I ordered delivery. So, like, obviously, that makes it harder. And the previous days, like, at the beginning of the week, as well as over the weekend, um, the last weekend, I had ice cream sandwiches. And I had ice cream before. So, obviously, like, March has been difficult with trying to lose weight. I've just gained weight or maintained, you know? Well, gained and then maintained the, the higher weight. I'm also really tired. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not tired. <laughs> I'm going to work out this morning. I'm gonna try to have a different mindset. And you know what? There's a lot of home workouts. And I think also me getting up a lot later has to do with it. Cause I'm just like, oh, I'm just going downstairs. But at the same time, like that's not really helping. <laughs> Cause even though I work from home now and I don't have like a 30 minute commute going to and fro, it should, be even easier for me to work out and granted like my job um like i have meetings throughout the day sometimes and i'm working with people technically um like i'm meeting with people almost all day to help them i need to just be better about eating healthy as well as just working out. So I'm gonna work out Friday, which is today, this morning. I'm gonna eat healthy today. And I'm just gonna take it one day at a time because that is what I have to do with this new adjustment. Um, yeah, I just have to try harder to make sure that I'm eating healthy and not purchase 
bad food. Just purchase food that is good for me. And plus, it'll save me money if I'm just eating healthy and only buying healthy food and not buying all these bad snacks. So, that is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to take it one day at a time. Because I'm sure that I've gained more weight from eating Indian food last night. Um, yeah, I want to get back to being 200 and getting out of the 200s actually. I was so close and then I just gained like 5 pounds. And I'm sure now I'm like 208 or something. <laughs> I don't want to weigh myself. But I'm going to weigh myself at the end of the weekend um, on Sunday. I think, yeah, I'm going to weigh myself at the beginning of the week, which is Sunday. And we'll kind of go from there. So today's Friday. I have the chance to eat healthy today, which is Friday, tomorrow, Saturday. And then see what it looks like on Sunday. Because we're all quarantining, we're all self-quarantining, shops are closed, gyms are closed, dine-in options are not available, going to the movies is not available, but you can still go outside for a walk if needed. So yeah, I'm just going to try my best and kind of go from there. <laughs> So it's Sunday. I forgot to check in and say that I weighed 206.4, which you can imagine that I probably weighed more than that because I had um, a helping of four for one person <laughs> with the Indian food that I got on Friday night, I believe. So yeah, 206.4. Hello guys.
guys. So I decided to do some stretches. I'm following some yoga routines um, from Yoga with Adrian here on YouTube. And I'm doing these stretches and I'm realizing that this quarantine has taken a lot of stress, like, like it's taken a huge toll on my body and I feel like I've taken on that stress in my body and it's showing up in like some chest pain and I was doing some stretches and I noticed that I was really tight in my neck and you know parts of my back um and I knew that my back was tight but doing these stretches and stuff I was just trying to touch like my toes and I'm pretty flexible and I'm, you know, normally I'm pretty flexible, but trying to do these stretches tonight, I am not flexible. I am very stiff and rigid. Um, it's painful for me to even do some of these stretches, things that I had no issues doing with before. Um, so yeah, I think for now, instead of, you know, doing HIIT workouts and weighted stuff, I'm just going to stick with yoga because I feel like my body needs it, um, my mental health needs it because I, I guess I am stressed based on how my body's reacting to everything. Um, I also forgot to show earlier, I did, like I ate healthy for lunch and breakfast well part of lunch I had like a salad and then I also had an ice cream sandwich I bought more a couple days ago <laughs> um I think yesterday I bought more um but yeah I had an ice cream sandwich today with my lunch and then for dinner I made ramen again which obviously ramen is not healthy but I was like you know comfort food is good and so I think for the rest of this month I'm just going to try to focus on, like, obviously eating as healthy as I can, but not trying to stick to this strict diet like I was, because obviously that hasn't really happened <laughs> this month and last month I've been maintaining. There's been a lot of stressful factors in my personal life, and then going into this pandemic um, that we have with uh, the coronavirus, it is pretty stressful um, and hard on my body. And so I'm realizing that now and I'm kind of just like, you know what? Take the stress of trying to work out and do these things and just wake up later, stretch, um, do yoga. I don't even have a mat anymore because I got rid of mine. Um, I also didn't really like that mat anyway, so it was... It's fine that I got rid of it. Um, so I'm just going to like do it on my floor in my room. I have carpet, so I'm kind of fine with that. But yeah, that's kind of um, the update with me. So I'll probably show tomorrow morning. I found like a, um, a full body stretch with um, using yoga with Adrian's. Um, like video routine so I'm gonna do that tomorrow hey all you cool cats and kittens <laughs> how many of you are screaming at me on the screen <laughs> if you know you know I mean by now you should know um I thought yesterday was the last day of March it's actually today um I want to end it on a positive note because I feel like yesterday I was pretty negative but um yeah I think going forward what I'm going to try to do since we have another month, full month, because April is, in, is going to be the month where we have like the stay at home order um, enacted. And so it's another month of this because <laughs> the majority of March was like this, but I don't want to continue with the habits that I've had. Also, if you're wondering why I have this on, it's a mask, it's a purifying clay mask because you know I've been eating bad when I get pimples on my face and I've been breaking out quite a bit. Like I've had one here that was like underneath, got rid of that before it really came out. 
this one is also painful and it's underneath. I just find doing clay masks as well as like putting a lot of like um, light layers of serums and stuff on it afterwards to really hydrate it helps it to not like come to the forefront. Like it's painful for a couple of days, but it never like comes out where I have to like squeeze it. Like my skin just naturally, well not naturally, because of the, the skincare that I'm doing, it helps it go away properly instead of me having to pop it, which I never want to pop because then I get scars. Anyways, I digress. But yeah, that's when you know I'm not eating right is because I break out. And it's not even the fact that I'm eating dairy because I'm not eating anything that has dairy in it. It's just like foods that are processed. Um, been eating a lot of that. And yeah, currently making oatmeal right now um, for breakfast because I've had that in the house for a while. I might as well just eat it because if I can prevent myself from going outside, um, I will by eating oatmeal. And oatmeal is good and it keeps me full a lot longer. And the way that I'm making it is pretty good. So, anyways, um, but I thought I'd do the final, final weigh in. I weigh, the final, final weigh in is 209.6. Can we, like, take a moment to just. Please stop barking. Anyways. The Lord is testing ya, girl. March was not the greatest, but that is only like a couple pounds, but at the same time, that is a trajectory up <laughs> that I don't wanna be taking. So for April, I'm definitely going to try to focus on making sure that I go down. My downfall was, there was a lot of downfalls this month, unfortunately. Ooh. Anyways, my one of my downfalls this month was the fact that I bought a lot of ice cream sandwiches as well as pints of ice cream. I think I had maybe like 12 ice cream sandwiches. I might be a little bit generous there, but I might not be. I also had like four to five pints of ice cream. So it makes sense why I went up. But for April, I know I keep saying like, I promise I'm not trying to restrict myself and I keep going back and forth. But at the same time, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm on a weight loss journey. I cannot just eat willy nilly and eat whatever I want, you know, with all these, you know, ice creams, sandwiches, ice cream, you know, pints, just ice cream in general and sweets. Ugh. But yeah, I just need to stop eating the amount of sweets that I had for March and like get it together in April. So my plan is to eat as healthy as possible. My, my goal for April is to eat my vegetables, eat my protein, do not buy sweets. Do not buy ice cream. Um, I have bought a lot of wine and that's gonna be like my dessert is to have a glass of wine every now and then, not every single day, but every now and then, at least on the weekends, so I can have it like, you know, a Saturday and a Sunday and then Monday through Friday, kind of just calm it down. Um, maybe a Friday night because we have like happy hours and watch the Great British Bake Off. All that jazz. <laughs> but yeah, I think for the month of April, my goal is to just eat vegetables um, and protein. So like my turkey, like my turkey burgers, my chicken that I have in my freezer, as well as my frozen vegetables. So that includes like my kale, my green beans, my broccoli, and then for breakfast, just focusing on eating oatmeal. And then I have kombucha and green juice. And on weekends, on a Saturday or a Sunday morning, making myself a little smoothie bowl. Um, I had a smoothie bowl this morning. Today's April 5th, so it's a Sunday. I made myself a little smoothie bowl. Um, and yeah, so I just, I don't wanna get back 
up to being in the 230s. I feel like I've worked too hard to like get down, but you guys have seen me throughout this entire weight loss journey of just fluctuating and I just don't wanna do this, especially being quarantined and doing the social distancing. I want to make sure that I lose the weight. So although I'm not going to the gym and I haven't really been working out in terms of like heavy weights and stuff, I've been doing yoga, my chest um, that I like pulled, my upper pec, is feeling a lot better. So I'm going to ease my way back into doing workouts this coming week um, for April, as well as just like focusing on eating healthy food because that is what I need to do. I just, I don't want to get to a place where I'm not happy with my body because mentally doing this social distancing I've been all over the place, like part of it I've been okay and then part of it I've been a little stressed out um, as well as just like full of anxiety. So mentally I'm not doing the best and I'm panicky. I'm also a hypochondriac so like I'm constantly worried about my health on a normal day, on a good day and with this coronavirus, this pandemic that has happened um, I just like am par more paranoid than than normal and and more cautious and I am being safe like I am doing social distancing I am making sure I'm wiping down everything I'm being clean but at the same time like you know I don't know and I also do catch the flu very easily from people so I am just you know scared because I know there's very severe real cases out there and it's just yeah it's it's an interesting bizarre situation um and we're all in in it together but it's just kind of crazy um to kind of go through so yeah March was wild didn't do that great but still started going down um April's only going to get better so I'm going to leave you guys here because the dogs next door are going crazy, but don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, and I will see you for April's weight loss recap. Bye, guys.